welcome to another episode of Manuela Steiner. Today I'm gonna make a delicious brownies, fudge brownies. And for fudge brownies, you just need a lot of chocolate and a lot of butter and less flour and you get these delicious fudge brownies. I'm using again Colabout chocolate. It's important that you just use the chocolate that's a really good quality that you like because you know how, to, how the chocolate tastes is how the brown is gonna taste. So I have this, um, but of course you can also use different brands. I think Lindt is a very good brand that is in most uh, supermarkets to use. Uh, so you put just the chocolate in the bowl and then you need the butter. And that is the thing with this brownies, it's so easy to make and it goes so fast. And then you just have water, hot water, you put this up there and then you just warm it till it melts. And then you have, you know, delicious melted chocolate. Okay, so then I use this baking tray. This one is from Nordic Wear. I really love it. This is perfect size for brownies. And I think mostly they use it for a rolling cake, but I think brownies is just perfect. Just spray. Uh, the pan and then um, just take some parsnip paper and you just put it in there like that coming nice together like that so just like that simple so then we need another bowl and we have sugar in there and we have four eggs so I'm just gonna break up the eggs butter has uh, melted and uh, you don't need to wait to add it to the egg mixture so you just uh, add it straight away and then the thing here with this mix is just you mix it like 30 seconds not more because you really don't want to mix it more than you know 30 seconds because if you do you will not get a great brownie. So this was maybe 20 seconds even. It goes super fast. So I'm just gonna put this on the side. And then you have that. You just add the mixture, the flour mixture, and the salt and the cocoa powder. Like that. And then you just combine. And just make sure that you don't mix too much either so just until you see that the flour has combined you know with everything because that is the different with a brownie if you want a fudge brownie is don't over mix and that's why I do the sugar with the eggs before I put it together with the chocolate because I know if you put one egg at a time you will use uh, too much mixing and that is not good for the brownie so this took, you know, almost hardly, not even 30 seconds. And then I'm just gonna pour it into the tray. So. And you just make sure that everything is level here so that the brownies bake evenly. Like that. And don't touch it anymore. Now, this brownies is a fudge brownies. It's super delicious if you want to have like, you know, uh, almonds in there or peanuts or everything. And you do that when you, if you're gonna add in other things, do it when you add the flour. So you add the flour, you add some almonds or other things, and then you bind it together and put it in there. The reason is because you don't want to touch this too much. So I'm gonna bake this for about 25 minutes. So now the brownies are ready. So they just need to cool down, but the brownie has a really beautiful shine and you it just almost look like leather. A leather jacket is a little bit old and you get this, you know, it's just, it's just so pretty. What I used to do is I let this cool down for about 30 minutes. 
uh, just to make sure it's totally cold and then I put it in the freezer not in the fridge but in the freezer for 30 minutes and that the reason I do that because afterwards when you cut it you just get beautiful squares and it just make it so more prettier and it's also super delicious but I'm just gonna let this cool down pop it in the freezer 30 minutes cut it up and I will show you what it looks like So the brownies has been in the freezer and because it has been in the freezer it's just very easy to cut it and you get nice squares and you know just cut these and present them maybe on a nice cake stand you know and you just if you don't eat them right away just put them in the freezer and uh, these brownies are delicious just by itself I have to say I love it I love it I love it how it looks I mean, you see the really delicious fudge? It's so delicious. I'm just going to taste it. It's so delicious. I love it when it's really fudge. So I really just hope that you uh, got inspired today and that you really, really want to make these delicious fudge brownies. The recipe for these fudge brownies you can find on my blog, www.passionforbaking.com. So I hope you check back next week and if you love the video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and let me know what you thought of these brownies. I'm going to enjoy these fudge brownies and I hope you too. Bye guys. Mm. Oh my God.